We will learn how to create absolute value equations from word problems. We'll look at the steps that we use in creating these absolute value equations from word problems and then apply those steps in solving examples. So here are the general steps for word problems. With absolute values, you want to identify the variable, but Step two is more specific to absolute values, which is identify the tolerance. And then we'll write an absolute value equations and solve the, solve the equations and then try to interpret the solution of the equation. So let's try that together. A machine is used to fill each of several bags with 16 ounces of sugar. After the bags are filled, another machine weighs them. If the, if the bag weighs 0 0.3 ounces more or less than the desired weight, the bag is rejected. Write the equation to find the heaviest and lightest bag the machine will have. So, we want to find out the weight of the bag. So, weight of bag is equal to x. Now we want to find out the equation, the absolute value equation that suits this word problem. So what we have here is x, which is the weight of the bag, minus 16 will be about the average weight, minus the average weight is equal to the tolerance which is 0 0.3. So this is going to be the equation that suits this word problem or this scenario. So now we're going to try to solve this equation here. So we have, I like to use positive x minus 16 equal to 0 0.3 and then negative x minus 16 equal to 0 0.3. Okay, so we're going to solve this first. So x minus 16 equal to 0 0.3. I'm going to add 16 to both sides. So we have 0 0.3 plus 16.0. We have 16.3. So x is equal to 16.3 ounces and then we have minus x plus 16 equal to 0. So I'm going to add x to this side and I'm going to add x to both sides. So we have 16 equal to 0 0.3 plus x. Now we subtract 0 0.3 from both sides. So we have 16.0 minus 0 0.3. So this is it's going to be 7 here, this is going to be 5, so 15.7. So x is equal to 15.7 ounces. So this is going to be heaviest here. This is going to be the lightest that the machine will approve. Next question. The lowest grade in a class is a 75 and the highest is a 91. Write an absolute value equation that expresses the highest and lowest scores on the test. So, we have the highest value is 75. So, let's make x the grade of a student. Okay. So, we have the highest grade being 91, lowest grade being 75, we need to write an equation that expresses this. So generally, what you want to do is you want to find, you want to write in this format. So our format is x minus average equal to tolerance. So let's find the average. The average 
is going to be 75 plus 91 divided by 2, which is going to give us 166 divided by 2, which is 83. Now, our tolerance, our tolerance is going to be the distance between the average and each of the endpoints. So, it's going to be 83 minus 75 or 91 minus 83. And this is going to be 8. So, our absolute value equation is going to be x minus 83 is equal to 8. So this is the equation that would help justify the lowest grade being 75 and the highest grade being 91. Let's prove it. So we have x minus 83 equal to 8. So we add 83 to both sides. You have x equal to 91. Uh, the second one is, second equation we have is, minus x minus 83 equal to 8. So, minus x minus x plus 83 equal to 8. We subtract 83 from both sides. Minus x equal to minus 75. Divide by minus 1. So, you have x equal to 75. So you can see that this is the lowest grade and this is the highest. Final example, you have money in your wallet but you don't know the exact amount. When a friend asks you, you say you have $50, give or take 15. Write an absolute value equation to model this situation. What are the possible amounts of money in your pocket? So let's make x the amount of money in the pocket so the amount of money in the pocket and we want to find out the absolute value equation we want to the, to do that though we need to be able to write it in this format x minus average equal to tolerance in this case, our average is what our guess is, which is 50. And our tolerance is going to be $15. Because we say give or take 15. So that's the, that's the wiggle room there. That's your tolerance. So we're going to write our equation now. X minus 50 equal to 15. So we're going to solve this to figure out the largest possible amount and the smallest possible amount. So we have positive x minus 50 equal to 15. And then we have negative x minus 15. x minus 50. x minus 50 equal to 15. So x minus 50 equal to 15. So we add 50 to both sides. So, x is going to be $65 here. Now, we have minus x plus 50 equal to 15. We subtract 50 from both sides. Minus x equal to minus 35. Divide by minus 1 on both sides. So, x equal to $35. So, for this person... The, the person has an average of, or has a range of $35 to $65 in the pocket. This is going to be the lowest possible value. This is going to be the highest possible value.